as the title and then we have the application toolbar that varies from screen to screen then we have different type of info input fields if I have something like that I had to click on this and then select one of the options given okay select one of the options given right and uh, I have different input fields that is one is this type one is like radio button so I can select only one of them right then I have a push button where I can push then I have check boxes where I can check multiple things right these are like different areas okay So I logged in into this system. It me it logged me out after a certain time. So I have to log in again. So I log in into the quality system again. Maybe I log in into another system. So I will log in into another system. So here my default client is what? 800. Because I have set the default client in this system to 800. So, these are the different menu items, right? So, when I'm here, I, I want some help. I want to know what I can type here. I want some help related to this command line. So, I press F1. When I press F1, I'll get many things here. Okay. right okay that is one type of help f1 for example now i want a different type of help don't worry about the command i am typing so I, here i'm opening a table to view the contents of the table but i want some only selected items i press here click here then I get something like this. So from that table, I want to see only Don. That means my name only. Okay. Then I say select. Sorry. Yeah. So I copy it over here. So I say select. So I see only my information. If I do, if I have not done it, it will show many people. So if I click on this, it will show a lot of people. Right. But I want to see only one person. So just an help. Okay. I click on this then I can put down. I want to see down. Then I want to see Anu. Then I want to see Donatus. So I will click on this. So uh, it shows only down. But here I have hidden many other people here. Right? Multiple selection is active. Right? So I will click on this. So I see three people. Right? Okay. So now I went here. So this is a different type of help, right? I, to sort out things. Now I will say I don't. I don't want to see them. But I, I want to exclude them. I don't want to see them. Exclude. So these people I don't want to see. So if I say done. E to H don't show. That's why he says like this, right? So click on this. Then those people are not shown. Up to Hamza is not shown. Amza, M, okay. after M, N, N is showing. So like that. So I can exclude people, right? So like that, a lot of other things. And I have here uh, a small manual. If, uh, if help is available, it will show, right? But help is not installed, right? If I want to sort it, okay, I highlight this user and I will sort in the other order, ascending order. Or sort it in the other order, this order. I can do that. Or I can search for something. Where is binoculars? Yeah. No here. Yeah, it's went to how okay, all all these halves related to that shows, right? Then if, if I want this, I highlight this and position the curve. Sorry. Go. And then I highlight this and position the cursor. So the cursor is there. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, cursor is there, right? So I can find something. I can sort. So very helpful menu. 
very helpful menu. Uh, if, I, if, I, if I highlight this and press F1, it will show that is the client number or something, client. A legally and organized, organizationally independent unit which uses the system. Now you understand what is client, right? So client is a business entity. If I create UI account in client 001, that means you cannot log in into client 800. Only 001 you can log in. If I create a material code in 001, it is not available in 800. Like that. So, so apart from this, you will have, a, like a, I will give you access. If you don't have access, just send me an email. I will reply, right? Access and I will give access to the system also. You also send an email. I will create an account and I will create access to you. Uh, apart from that, you have to download this program, WinSCP. Have you heard about WinSCP? Yeah, double click on that. And you have to log in into the router string what I will give you, not local IP address. This IP address will work when you are here. Okay? So when you are outside the office, then I will give you the domain name, right? So log in there. You have to log in as basis, but I don't know whether I know the password. Let me try it. Let me change the password. So if I want to log into the Unix system, I log in using Putty. So I will log in again. So I have spent a lot of time, like several years, to sort all the manuals I had and I have collected into different lessons. It took a long time for me, right? So this will be very useful for you to read in an orderly manner, right? So it's for, for example, for introduction, uh, if you go to introduction, where is introduction here? Okay, lesson one, right? Introduction for trainer we have, for student. We have the same thing for trainer also, right? So student lesson. So if I say must read, right, then you must read that. These are very useful manuals, right? Very good manuals for you to read. You must read. If I say uh, for reference, then you just go through that, just fast. When, time, when you are working somewhere, okay, I want to refer this. So that time you can go and refer. Then uh, whatever I do in the lesson, whatever I, if I draw something in the lesson, I will copy it in the lesson thing. So if suppose I will go here, uh, if I open, this is what I created in the last lesson. Yeah, I talked about different type of work process and all, right? In the other earlier batch, right? So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, this is interest. If you like to read, if you have a lot of time, <laughs> okay, read, right? Okay, and for every lesson, I have the same pattern, right? I have designed in the same fat pattern. Where is lesson two here? Uh, interest, student reference, same style, right? Same way I have for trainer also. Say if I go to the trainer section, say if I go to my computer, I have basis here for training. Say I have introduction. So introduction also we have trainer presentation. So whatever I want to show depending on the time and availability, right? I use this. And then if I go to lesson one or the other one, lesson one, 
So I have trainer lesson. So trainer will give some presentation, whether me or somebody or whoever, right? So they use use it, right? Must use, they must use. Okay. And then a trainer reference, if trainer wants to refer something, they will refer. Right? So like that we have organized everything nicely, right? And as I mentioned to you that we have system landscapes here. Uh, I will try to connect to show you an overview of that. So I use Oh, here, okay. Okay. So in this area, this is actually portal. So we have development, quality, quality, and then production. Three systems running, and also we have SM solution manager running, right? Right? So you will have access to multiple servers. Right? So you will get a real work environment, all depends on how you make use of it, right? So, pardon? Yeah, and also for one server, you have access lifetime, one server. The system landscapes, I cannot promise, because next patch start, they will install, they will clean, they will do everything, right? Whatever you do, they will do, right? So landscape, try to use it within the next two months, right? One landscape will be always there. The one I showed, this one, this one will be always there. Uh, so this is actually learn.uwinpro.com. Other one is sorry, learn dot something, right? Yes. Yeah. So the other one is uh, other one. I can't promise. This one will be almost always there, right? Sometimes I shut down because I want to start another server, right? But one server you will have access to access to that always. For one server you will have access always, right? Uh, if suppose you get a job you want to practice, then you ask me if you don't have access or something happened to the server, then I will give you access again, right? So until you get a job, even after get, after you get a job, you may have to practice because certain commands you are not allowed to use in the office space, right? So you can try that also, right? So our main idea is you should get a job, right? So we will try our best, make use of that. So, yeah, sure. I know we learn like the SAP the course like yeah. software and how we use it. Yeah. How I learn this stuff. Yeah. But are we gonna be having like based on camping? So not just to know the product, just to know like having an idea like the yeah. company, platform is how they work, framework, all this stuff. Yeah, yeah you will have an idea about all of that. Yeah. Based on the camping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 you that's why I'm trying to do as much yeah. as possible. Like that you get the real feeling like working yeah. in an environment, right? So I don't want to give, like you log into one server, you use something, Some most of the time the server is down, right? In my case, I am a basic administrator, right? So if the server is down, I can correct it within a few yeah. minutes, right? Otherwise, I'll give an alternative machine, right? Uh, and also, you need operating system experience and all those things I have, so I can help you, right? And also, I strongly recommend you to do a Unix course if you're not good in Unix, right? Uh, Unix is very important in all the jobs. If you go and see all jobs, they ask for Unix, right? And I have been teaching Unix for the last 12 years. I have taught about 170 bachelors in Solaris administration, right? They are all doing good jobs, right? Uh, so Unix is also important. Then you do the basis. And whatever is, re whatever is relevant to basis, I try to give introduction. But whenever you ch have chance, better to do little more detailed course in, for example, Solution Manager. Like now I see a lot of jobs they are asking for portal and solution manager, right? I saw a lot of jobs now, right? If you go to Google and search for SAP basis jobs, a lot of us are asking for all those, right? Anyway, so today we will stop at this point and we will continue from the next.